many of you would love to have $5 million? If I had $5 million, I would buy my dream home in Clancy, Montana. When I was searching for my dream home, I looked at three different things. The history of Clancy, Montana, the house itself, and why it would be perfect. This is Clancy, Montana. The history of Clancy, Montana is actually very interesting. Clancy was known for its silver mining camps. Um, even when silver was becoming less and less popular, uh, Clancy did not stop growing because of Henry Hill. Henry Hill was one of Clancy's citizens who um, established the first woolen mills and built some built railroad yards on his ranch, which he later sold to the city. Another really interesting thing about Clancy was there were dozens of hangings in Clancy. The hangings, the crypt, I'm sorry, criminals would be hung after they were found guilty in court. The hangings usually took place at night and the bodies would be left there for the citizens to find in the morning. There is an old myth that the hanging tree still exists today and there's marks on the tree from where the ropes hung. But in 1875, the real hanging tree was chopped down by a Methodist minister. The old tree had been hanging over his barn and he didn't want it to fall on his barn, so he chopped it down. When the news spread that the minister had chopped down the tree, some of the citizens got angry because they wanted the tree to stand as a reminder to any other future coming criminals. Um, the minister, trying to calm the citizens, allowed them to take parts of the tree as souvenirs. And there are two pieces of the tree left today, and they are in the possession of Montana Historical Society in Helena. This is the fake um, hanging tree, and this is a drawing of the real hanging tree. As you can see, they're very similar. I've always wanted to live in a house that was on some land and kind of had a little westerny vibe. And so when I was looking for my tree, that when I was looking for my house, that's exactly what I searched for. And I found the perfect house in Clancy, Montana. It's on 5.69 acres. Um, it has five bedrooms, six and a half bathrooms, a four car garage, and a half court basement, half court basketball court in the ba Half of a basketball court in the basement. It was built in 2012, so it's a little modern, but still has that westerny feel. And it's very, very beautiful. Now, I've never been to Montana, but from the pictures of just the house in Montana, it's really, really pretty. The house has a bunch of views of mountains and meadows and forests, and it's just really beautiful. Nate Burkus once said, Your home should tell the story of who you are and be a collection of what you love. And I think that this house does exactly that because it has all the things that I love in it, like the western feel and it being on land, but it also just tells who I am as a person. So this is a picture of the outside of my house, what it would look like. And this is a picture of the awesome four car garage. This is a picture of just the inside of the house. And this is the basketball court in the basement. Now, you can't just move into the very first house you find. So you, so I did some more research on like schools and job opportunities, like crime rates and things to do. And the closest school to the house is 3.4 miles away, and it's the Jefferson County School. Now, the closest Christian school is 10.4 miles away, and that's Helena Christian School. Now, as for job opportunities, I, in the future, would like to become a teacher. So I looked into those schools to see if they had any job opportunity, job openings. And what I found was that Helena Christian School 
had some openings for subs. They were looking for subs. Um, now it's for crime rates. Most of the crime in Clancy is property crime and a little bit of violent crime. But compared to Belton's crime rate, it almost looks like nothing. Now as for things to do, there's a ton of things to do. Well, first there's mountains everywhere. There's forest and all of this stuff. So you can go hiking and skiing and whitewater rafting. There's also a bunch of national parks and historical sites. So a few specific things you can do are the Lewis and Clark National Forest, where you can hunt, fish, um, go hiking, camping, all sorts of things. Another really cool thing is the Lewis and Clark Museum, which is a museum featuring, no, sorry, about Lewis and Clark, so that was cool. And also in Clancy's neighboring, neighboring city, Helena, there's a bunch of ghost towns that you can go visit. That was pretty cool. Uh, in conclusion, if I had $5 million, I might actually buy this house because the history of Clancy was pretty interesting. The house is beautiful and it is perfect for me. Thank you for watching and good luck on your speeches.